block system has the potential to drastically reduce greenhouse gases, the primary driver of climate change. We sat down with Sierra Energy CEO Mike Hart to talk about its potential. So for every tonne of garbage that goes into a landfill, you're creating nearly two tonnes of greenhouse gas in the form of methane. Methane is 84 times worse than carbon dioxide for the environment as a short-term climate change gas. It means that you can actually create fuels, energy or fuels, that actually have a negative carbon footprint by preventing that waste from ever creating that gas in the first place. One of the interesting things about the fact that we're based on the blast furnace it's one of the most studied industrial technologies known to man. And so what that means is there are college courses taught in how to scale blast furnaces. They exist right now anywhere from a couple of tons per day for a size zero uh, blast furnace, all the way up to something that could handle 30,000 tons of trash a day. That's all of the waste generated in the county of Los Angeles in one single gasifier. That's how big blast furnaces get. That's, that's all off-the-shelf technology. They build really big blast furnaces. So the scale, actually for us, has been much harder to build it small. A typical blast furnace, in which there are many, many thousands of them, would be in the, let's say, 300 tons per day. Well, to give you a relative scale, a typical person in the United States makes two kilograms of waste per day. So that means that if you have a community of 15,000 people, you're making 30,000 kilograms of waste each day. So that means you're talking about 30 tons of waste per day. If you go up an order of magnitude, that means a community of 150,000 people, two kilograms a day, is 300 metric tons of waste a day. So that means a typical, ordinary, run-of-the-mill blast furnace. These are small, they're all over the place that kind of blast furnace could handle a community in the United States of 150,000 people. Now what's extraordinary is that's with zero recycling. If people pull out things from the waste stream going to us of things that can be easily recycled, papers and plastics and, and things like that, you could recycle 50% quite easily. Well that means our gas fire could handle a community of 300,000 people per day and that's just a typical very small blast furnace. Now, I was using United States numbers. We are number one as far as the amount of waste we generate per person. That's at two kilograms per day. The rest of the world, the average is closer to one kilogram per day. So double those numbers. And so that means a typical, relatively small gasifier, blast furnace or converted used as a gasifier in our case, could support a community of 600,000 people with 50% recycling. So the scaling is very smooth. For example, a very small gasifier, like the one we're doing for Fort Hunter Liggett, could easily take all the medical waste generated at a hospital, as well as all their other waste, use it to create the energy they need to power the hospital. Typically, for most hospitals, they have some of the most expensive electricity in their community because they're uninterruptible. They're the, they're the last people that get turned off, so the, the power company tends to charge them rather a lot for their power. They get charged the most for disposing of their waste. While the typical disposal fee in the United States to throw away garbage is, let's say, $49 a ton, hospitals pay $500 a ton to dispose of their waste. So your economics, if you go onto the calculator on our website, you can very quickly see that a hospital could make back its entire investment in a year and then become completely energy independent and dispose of all of their waste without having to have any intermediaries handling the sharps and toxics and everything else. Put it in the gas fire, it's done. If you go on our website, just click on any county snapshot. It'll tell you not only how much waste is generated in that community, how much energy could be created with that, but it'll also tell you how many jobs can be created and how many tons of greenhouse gas per year you can stop in your community. And we have people from all over the world. We now have 6,000 requests from people that are looking to take this technology and do something with it in their community. That's what started the whole TechPipe platform. We're looking for catalysts, people that want to either represent their whole country or want to do a project in their own county.